Now in other news, one of the places near and dear to the hearts of so many North Dakotans is Medora. But many may not know the history of the area. KX News' Mary Gutenkoff visited with a local artist and author who wants to make the history more known. When Linda Donlin visited Medora with her granddaughter Ava in 2020, Ava loved it. But she was confused about the history of the area and the historical figures. So they went out in search of a book that would help explain everything better. Our final stop was at the Western Edge Bookstore in Medora, and we talked to Doug Allison, who is the, the manager there, and he said, there isn't such a thing, but if you'd write one, I'd sell it here. And that's exactly what she did. Her book, titled The Magic of Medora, is written in the voice of Theodore Roosevelt, who loved the area. It covers the history of Medora, from the geological formation of the Badlands, to the Marquis de Morris, to the creation of Medora as we know it today. And she made it even more personal by including her nine grandchildren in the research and writing process. She says she spent the last year taking trips to Medora with them, using their interests and areas of confusion to create the narrative. But they'll also have a more permanent place, forever captured within the pages of her book. Originally I thought I would just use some scenes from Medora and I would do regular illustrations. But then as I got started, I thought, well, I have all these great photos that I took of the grandkids last year when we were doing our research, that why not put them in the book? So I dug through all the photos that I took and, and found a spot for each one of the nine grandchildren in the book. Her illustrations from the book will be displayed at the Capitol Art Gallery in November, along with the painting she's working on right now. This is a painting of uh, Theodore Roosevelt and um, one of the quotes that's in the book, and one of my favorite quotes of Theodore Roosevelt's is, keep your eyes on, on the stars, but your feet on the ground. And so I was looking for a, a scene in the Badlands that would help me demonstrate that. And, a, and this is a work in progress. It's, it's not finished yet, but it has Theodore Roosevelt here standing on this uh, butte and looking down over, over the valley. Donlin takes Roosevelt's advice to heart achieving her dreams of being an artist while also keeping her family close. Reporting for KX News, I'm Mary Gutenkoff. This Sunday, Donlin and her grandchildren will be at the Medora for book signings. Her grandchildren will each be wearing a personalized t-shirt with the illustrations of themselves from the book. She'll also be doing signings in Fargo and Bismarck. To find out where and when, head over to kxnet.com.